Hello, I'm Brian with Orion Telescopes and Binoculars, and today I'd like to explain what the fundamental differences are between a color and monochrome CCD camera. Today we're set up with the Orion Starshoot G3 imaging camera, but the Orion Starshoot G3 is also offered in color, and you might wonder which of the two cameras is better for you and your astroimaging purposes. I'd like to dive into a little bit more detail and explain what the advantages are of each of these two different types of cameras. The main difference between a color and monochrome astrophotography camera is how the pixel arrangements of the CCD chips interpret the data from colors and light. On a color CCD camera chip, the pixel array consists of a varying arrangement of tiny color filters that are distributed in front of the sensors in a pattern known as the Bayer matrix. The two most common variations of the Bayer matrix are RGGB or CMYG. Once an image is captured, software within the camera will extrapolate the colors from the exposure and convert the data into a single color image. Monochrome chips have the exact same pixel arrays as a color chip but lack the presence of a color filter matrix in front of the sensors. Monochrome cameras can capture a single black and white exposure or they can capture multiple exposures while using additional filters to highlight specific colors. Once a single wavelength is captured, it is assigned a color channel. You can use a set of LRGB filters to capture the red, green, blue, and luminance channels, or mix and match narrowband filters to capture the light and gases from emission nebulae. The three narrowband filters used for tricolor imaging are hydrogen alpha, sulfur 2, and oxygen 3. Color CCD chips automatically capture the color during the exposure, but monochrome chips capture multiple channels separately, providing more data per color. Once the different color channels are captured, post-processing software is used to combine the channels and provide a single color image. While using a camera with a monochrome CCD chip may seem like more work because you need more exposures to produce a color image, the advantage is that you can acquire more data per channel, which can yield finer image detail. To some astrophotographers, using a monochrome CCD, a set of filters, a filter wheel, and additional post-processing are all worth the extra effort because they provide more color combinations and more control. We hope this video gave you a better understanding of what the major differences are between these two types of CCD cameras. Thank you for watching and clear skies.